Take the example of Bosnia. We don't want that to be repeated. We don't need that. I think the UN should learn. It has opportunity to show. The UN should uh, work uh, more practical than theoretical just by saying and not doing it. I don't think that that's enough. Also, KLA and the record of KLA was never to go against the civilians, which is strictly, and the record uh, goes that, that KLA was fighting only police force or a military force of uh, uh, Belgrade regime. So I, I can sort of say that the KLA, the, there is no involvement of KLA. Show me the money. Lots of promises has been made, have been made. Great. Now, show us the money. To its home, which is the Western world. We're not asking for aid. That's not, uh, that's not our interest. I mean, we certainly hope to one day be able to provide aid to other countries. Right now, we need the financial assistance to strengthen the economy, to develop the economy even, even more. Because if you have economic prosperity, I think the people will be less interested in fighting and rather uh, more committed in, in building the country and also become being a developed country and also a more political uh, in a stable country. Albania cannot be disattached from this mainstream that now Balkan countries are cherishing for their future. In spite of the economic differences, Albania hopes that she'll get the attention and the assistance of other democratic countries of the countries of the world, EU, United States of America, for development, stability, and upgrading democracy in the country. And whether it will be helpful or not, 